how to use Auto-Tune and Logic Pro X. So what you're going to do is you're going to double click whatever audio that you want to Auto-Tune, double click on it, and then you're going to see this little hourglass thing over here. You're going to click on that, and by default it's usually set to flex time slicing. You're going to want to move that to flex pitch, and that's going to look like this. And then you're going to see this where the waveforms are. It starts you at the top, and you're going to want to slowly scroll down until you find where your audio is at. And right here, you can see here's my audio. These are all the different notes I was hitting with my voice. And what you can do, you have to be zoomed in enough to have all six of these dots around it, is you can click on all of them separately, and you can either increase the, the time quantize. Um, you can also change the pitch correction. So right now I have zero, but I can add some right here. And you see it adjusts it as needed. Um, and then you can increase the gain as well. But right at the top, you can fine pitch the, the note here. You can also add vibrato. Um, you can also add gain from here and format shift. And then you also have pitch, pitch drift and pitch drift here. So this is how you can auto-tune your voice in Logic Pro X. If you wanted to do the whole thing, you could just highlight everything and then add pitch correction right here. And that would adjust it to where it thinks it needs to be. Now, it's not perfect, so you do want to listen through afterwards. It might have a note go um, up instead of down or down instead of up. So you do want to check that, um, but it is a nice tool if you're wanting to use um, pitch correction or auto-tune.